Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. It's raining cats and dogs today, and I was actually going to put off making a video because of all the thunder and lightning, and I was like, no, screw it. We're going to still talk about it anyway. So, you know, I've been doing this thing where I've been trying to pick a new set of strings or, you know, see if I like something new uh, acoustic-wise because I've been using Diodarios for a long time. So the way this is working is I'm putting a new set of strings on this Breedlove Premier Dreadnought every Monday for about six weeks. I'm gonna play them for a week at a time. What I did was I had Leslie take the strings out of the package so that I don't even know what they are. So this is literally blind. I just put them on. You know, sometimes you can kind of tell by, you know, string ends and stuff like that, but whatever. It just gives me a kind of an unpackaging, unbranding bias, you know, just put them on the guitar and like just play them that way. But as we go on this little journey, this is not about like a review or what makes the best strings, right? Literally, it's just what feels the best on my guitar, what sounds the best on my guitar. And the thing about it is, is that this is gonna be a different answer for everybody. So we discussed that we would talk about what factors contribute to this decision, okay? So, first of all, I wanna ask you a question. What acoustic strings do you play, and why do you, more importantly, why did you choose them? Is it because somebody on the internet was like, hey, you should try this? Or was it a review that you read? Or was it something that you tried for yourself and decided that you did or did not like a thing about those particular strings? Put that in the comments below. Why did you choose the strings that you use? Electric or acoustic, it doesn't matter because this applies to everything. So let's talk about some factors that are different for everybody. One of the things, there's a couple main things here. String tension, how a string feels. When you use it to bend and vibrato and that sort of stuff. Now I play with 13s on my guitar and so I like them a little bit heavier and so I don't have a lot of bend, right? But that's a choice that I made because of the style that I play. I play really hard um, and I play like big chords. <laughs> Okay, so I like the big open chord feel. That's... That's what I like. So I play harder, I use a pick, and I play hard, and that's what I like. So I like that string weight. Within string weight, so let's say I bought these seven sets of strings to do this little experiment with, the tension of each brand is just a little different. So the amount of pounds of pressure, the, the pounds of tension that it takes to go from here to here to make that e chord, the E note can be different from brand to brand. I actually noticed it when I put this set on this morning. This is set number two of our experiment. You can watch the other videos up here if you hit the little gray dot. And I noticed that the neck relief changed just a little. Same gauge of strings, just a different brand. So that factors into it as well. Uh, the other thing that really comes into play with this stuff is the style of bridge that you have. Now, you may have uh, pins in your bridge. Breedlove has the string through here. There are a few other brands that do this the same way. So this break angle is a little bit different on my guitar than it may be on yours, the way the string comes up out of the top of the body. So that means that the mounting point of the string is just a completely different style which completely changes the sound. The architecture of the guitar is a huge factor in how an acoustic guitar especially sounds. So the way the bracing works, this particular guitar has a scalloped top so it's thinner on one side than it is on the other to balance out the tone. All that stuff matters. Your guitar may sound differently just based on that stuff. Uh, the other thing is the scale length of the guitar. This is a 25 and a half inch scale length, so same as like a Strat or a Tele. I am a fan of the 25 and a half inch scale, so I even like that on my acoustic guitars. That makes a big difference because the overall tension from here to here changes depending on the scale length. So basically, it raises as the string gets longer, meaning if the string is longer from here to here, it takes more tension to tune to that note. So 13s on a 25 and a half inch scale, you might think, dang, that's really heavy. I don't even know why you would ever do that. But it's what the guitar actually came with, what it was designed with and how it works. Because 
this break angle over here, this angle over here, how this all works together, all matters, right? Now, we don't need to get into the technicalities of each one of these things. The only reason I bring it up is because when you are making a decision about your guitar, this is why you have to try stuff yourself. Because your playing style, your particular guitar, how you like your guitar set up, if you like your action high up here at the 12th, or if you like it very, very low, um, depending on the string and the coating, if it's a coated string, if it has, uh, you know, if it's phosphor or phosphor, or if it's bronze or phosphor bronze, all those things matter depending on your situation. The only way to know for yourself is to actually go and try it. For instance, the last set that I had on here when I go just any chord. It had this weird ring on the B. So that note right there would like would ring out way louder because here's a huge other factor that you may not think about. Where you play, your style of playing, which means how your arm goes over the top of the guitar, where, how long your hand is, everything, determines where this hand is gonna end up and how you're gonna strum, okay? And so, uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I strum kind of on an angle from about here back to about here. So that's gonna give me a particular sound that's different from like an up and down directly over the sound hole. Or directly over the bridge. But I'm on a kind of an angle, and I think most of us, we kind of are. But not everybody. So that particular set of strings made this weird that I just didn't like. That set of strings probably doesn't do that to you. So another thing is just our playing style, how we hold the guitar. Are you a strummer? Or are you a finger picker? All those sort of things all play into this. Now that's not just with an acoustic. Most of this stuff, except for top scalloping and tone wood stuff, doesn't really apply as much on an electric guitar, as much on an electric guitar, but it does, uh, most of this stuff does cross over to an electric. So the point is, when you make that decision for yourself, what you're using, do your research. Go out and play. Just figure it out. In the description of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of things. I'm gonna put a list, and you'll be able to click on it, and it'll be the list of all the tools that we use as guitar tech tools to set, do setups on guitars, okay? Um, it's just on Amazon, you can go check it out. And the other thing we're gonna leave is a list of all the strings that we're trying in this video. Let me know, do me a favor and let me know if you've tried any of these things and what your results were. Because I'm curious to see how a different person has a different result from me, kind of just lending to this whole idea of that we all try things just a little differently. There is no wrong answer here, right? So, I'm gonna play this thing for about a half hour today while it's ringing and uh, we're gonna try another set next week. My name is Dylan, this is Dylan Talks Tone. If you have questions about this or anything else about guitar setup, what affects tone on the guitar, how it all works, put the, the question that you have in the comments below and we'll make a video just for you. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because, and the little bell next to it, because then you'll know the next time we come out with a cool video like this, because we're gonna be talking about this guitar setup and various things. Uh, our next video, we're gonna talk about uh, setting up an electric guitar and some things that we wanna do, even on a less expensive guitar, to make it better. Fret polishing, that sort of stuff. So we're gonna talk about that in our next video. My name is Dylan, this is Dylan Talks Tone. I hope you have a great day.